Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes channel. I would like to show you in this video the mess I acquired from the previous owner before I will do any repairs or modifications. And I speak about the engine vacuum system. Engine vacuum on this diesel engine is produced by vacuum pump which is down there and has these two outlets. This is the main one for the brake vacuum booster and this is the other source of the vacuum. Now why did I say mess? And because anywhere you look in this engine bay some part of a vacuum system it's either missing, broken or disconnected. And we can start right here. This is the source of vacuum which splits on four ways and the one which is supposed to bring vacuum to the VCV which is vacuum control valve it's broken off. It didn't fall off it's actually the remaining part is inside in that tube. Just seeing that we already know that entire vacuum system cannot operate properly. But let's move on. Looking at the whole system just quickly, like giving a quick look, doesn't tell you much. It's after the while when you are watching the details you will start seeing the problems. For example here. Do you see this fitting? Well, it's not connected to anything. Looking up here, whoever is familiar with these diesels immediately can see, oh, this hose is supposed to, supposed to continue to the switch over valve, but somebody hooked it direct to the ALDA. As we just said, this switch over valve, it's called Y30 and it's for the engine overload protection and as you can see this is disconnected just hanging there and this is not going anywhere here is some hanging wire connector just freely hanging you will look here on that transmission modulator valve somebody or some people sometimes call it flying saucer oh everything is hooked correctly and the uh, hose it's leaving underneath everything seems to be cool right well of course it's not look on this valve completely broken ripped apart there is a hole in it so how can this vacuum amplifier and the vacuum amplifier switch over valve work when the hose it's ripped and it's fully open of course it can't work correctly now considering the amount of lack of maintenance considering damages and also considering that this is a project vehicle i have decided completely remove all these gadgets and valves and switch over valves and all this stuff and modify this system simplify it for off-road use. And why am I saying for off-road use? Because I definitely will get rid of the emission two valves, switch over valves, which are underneath. I'm definitely on this vehicle going to get rid of the EGR valve. And I want to simplify this engine for the great performance. I don't want to see anymore that disgusting gunk crawling through my intake from that EGR valve and it will be illegal to remove the EGR system for the road use. Of course I will film entire project step by step so if you are interested to see those changes, please follow me on this Diesel Mercedes channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.